Okay, so I think this is an interesting question. Lots of percents and numbers in there to kind of throw you off because the question at the end is like, what's the probability that none of your female colleagues have been raped at one point in their lives according to this survey? And just assuming that, you know, um, you know, just just based on the survey alone, of course, like it, it totally depends on um, so many different factors. But 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 if you just take twenty, like so, the question is basically: you take twenty random, um, you know, uh, women, basically, what what would this percent be? All right. So to answer this question, there's a couple of numbers we need. One is that there are twenty. It says you've got twenty women colleagues. And um, and it, and the top number says nineteen point three percent. Okay, have experienced rape at one point in their life. So nineteen point three percent, and there's twenty female colleagues. Those are the two numbers you need to answer this question. Okay, so I'll go over it now. Um. All right, so, so the let, let's let's so the way to start this is to say okay if you had one, um, one uh, colleague, uh, female colleague, the chance that she has not experienced this is one hundred percent minus nineteen point three percent. Okay. So that is um, almost, it's around 80, it's 80.7%, okay? All right, now that is a really useful number to know, okay? So there's an 80.7% 80 chance, just based on the survey, um, that a random female has not um, experienced uh, rape, so... Um, um, so, so the question is like we've got twenty female colleagues here. So, so let's take two of them. So, let's just say that's just for one colleague. Okay. Now let's say there were two. You would actually uh, do this if you go eighty point seven. The chances that they they both have not experience this so that's 80.7 and then you would go times 80.7 percent all right and that and so this is for um so the first one is um one colleague um now for two colleagues it's just this times this right and so if i uh put in my calculator um or or of course you can write that 0.807 to the power of two, right, squared. I mean, that's what it is. It's 0 0.807 to the power of two, 0 0.807 to the power of two, right? Ah, put that up, press enter, and 0 0.65, it's about 65%, okay? So for two colleagues, we have about a 65% chance that they have not experienced that. Um, for three colleagues, we go 80.7%. So, and again, this goes back to the anting. It's like 80.7% that this event didn't happen and that the event didn't happen to the other colleague and again, that the event didn't happen to the other colleague. Okay, so that's why it's 80.7 times 80.7 times 80.7. All right, so, so the and is, is where this has to happen, and then this, and then this. So these three events in a row. Now, if you want three events in a row to happen, you take the probabilities and you multiply them, right? Um, so it, it, it's kind of like saying, and, and again, this goes back to kind of like saying, um, you know, let's say there's a 50% chance that it's going to rain and there's a 30% um, chance that I'm going to get um, 
male today, right? Uh, and it's kind of a silly example, but what's the chances that it rains? Um, what's the chance that I get rain and male today? Okay, the chance I get rain and male today is 50% times 30%, okay? Okay, which is, you know, 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 which is um, 0 0.15 or 15%, okay? So I multiply percentages. If I want two things to happen in a row, that's, what, hey, that's when you multiply them, right? Um, so a, a sequence of independent events, right? So, so in any case, back to the, the th for three colleagues, um, you've got this probability times this times this, or 0 0.807 to the power of 3. 0 point, uh, 0 0.807 to the power of 3, right? Which is 0.525, right? It's about 53%. So if you've got, th pick three um, women at random and the probability is 53%, okay? Um, but we've got 20, right? So picking 20 women at random, what do you think the answer is? Can you press pause and, and do it? So for 20 at random, it's 0 0.807 times itself 20 times, right? So this event, 0 0.807 all the way times 0 0.807 20 times. Because we have to, the probability for each individual is... 80% or 80.7%, all right? So for 20 individuals, the probability is 80.7 times itself 20 times, or 0 0.807 to the power of 20, okay? Zero point eight zero seven to the power of 20, 0 0.0137, Blah, 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 0 0.0137, on and on and on, which it says round to the, uh, give your answer as a percent rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay, percent rounded to the nearest whole number. So, you know, again, that's about one point, because if I move decimal point one, two spots over there, that becomes 1.37 non percent. So approximately 1% is the answer because that's a percentage rounded to, rounded to nearest whole number of percent, okay? So to interpret that, if you've got 20 random, you know, female colleagues and, and, and for all intents and purposes, they, they are, you know, similar to the uh, women interviewed in this survey of almost 13,000 adults all over the country, the chances that none, none of them have experienced rape at some point in their lives is 1%. So, so actually, the chances that at least one has, has experienced is about 99% then, isn't it? Because this is the chance, 1% is the chance, the probability of none experiencing. And, and so at least one is 99%, right?